current USB DMX devices supplied by Showcad are the black metal boxes and are the recommended interface for smaller installations of up to two DMX universes. However, if you are working with a very old artist installation, you may find that you have a plastic DMX box similar to this, but red and with the Showcad logo on top. These are known as sunlight interfaces and were supplied with the early versions of Artist 2. Artist 3 still works with the sunlight boxes, however, only under Windows XP and you have to install Artist 2 on the PC to load their driver. While they will function with Artist 3, their use is not recommended. The interface is no longer supported by Showcad or Sunlight and as such there won't be a 64-bit version of the driver produced for these. Please be aware that when you purchase a USB DMX box from Showcad, you also need to purchase a Universe license for your copy of Artist 3. This license does not transfer with the USB box but remains with your installation of Artist 3. As such, please be wary of purchasing second-hand Showcad USB DMX boxes from places like eBay, as you will probably still need to purchase a license. If you have any questions about Artist 3's licensing, contact Showcad Support, who will be happy to explain your options. It is also worth pointing out that Artist 3 does not and has never worked with the Entec Open DMX range of USB products, so please don't be caught out by this. The current USB DMX boxes can be used as either a DMX output or a DMX input. They are fitted with 5-pin XLRs as per the USIT DMX standard, but are supplied with an adapter to aid installation where 3-pin wiring has been used. The drivers for the USB DMX box should be installed as part of Artist 3's installer. However, if when you connect to the box the new hardware found wizard fails to recognise them, the driver will need to be installed manually. The driver can be found by going into your computer's program files x86 slash artist3 folder and is called vcom underscore setup.exe. Double clicking this will install the drivers on your computer. If you then rerun the find new hardware wizard, the USB box will be recognised. Once you have your box connected to your PC, you can start artist3. If you are creating a new workspace, you can leave this box checked during the workspace setup to automatically connect to the interface. I'll leave it unticked to show you how to manually connect to the interface. This is also the procedure you will need to go through if you are adding a new universe to an existing workspace. If we expand the interface manager and then expand Showcad USB DMX, we can see the USB DMX box connected to the system. The number is the box's unique serial number and will help you identify the box. If we right click and select properties, we can see the box's firmware version and we have the option to select if the box is going to be used as a DMX output, which is the default and used to send control data to the lighting rig, or as a DMX input to receive DMX commands from another controller. Below this are drop downs to change the way the box sends and receives DMX data. Unless told otherwise by Showcad support, leave these as default values, as incorrect settings here could cause data transmission errors on your DMX network. So leaving our new USB box set up as a DMX output, we now need to create a virtual universe for it. First expand the input output patch. And then right click on Universes Out and select Properties. A dialog will appear asking how many universes you want to add. You can add as many universes as you like, but Artist will only actually output to the number that you have registered on your system. We have added one box and the system is registered for one universe, so we'll leave this as one and click OK. If we now expand universes out, our virtual universe will now be displayed. We can rename the virtual universe to something more descriptive, like main rig. Not so important in a small installation, but it makes life easier when you're running multiple universes, so it's a good habit to get into. The red star means that the universe has not been patched to an interface yet. To patch it, we need to right click and select properties. Under interface type we need to select Showcad USB DMX 
The node drop-down will then display the serial number of the box that we're patching the universe to. If you have more than one box attached, all of the different serial numbers will be displayed. The universe number underneath will remain as one, as the USB DMX box we're using is a single output device, so it only has one possible port you can output on. This drop-down will become more relevant when you start patching to ArtNet or PathPort devices. If we now click OK, the red star disappears and the USB DMX box's details appear next to the universe name. This box is now patched and ready to start sending DMX from Artist3. Next time we will look at configuring Artist3 to send DMX via ArtNet.